Hello there fellow Star Rail lore aficionados. So just a little bit of an update, I haven't really been active in the past week because of a crazy flu I got and why my voice might sound a little bit like a cement mixer filled with rocks. I wanted to take it easy for a few more days but Hoyoverse decided to drop the 1.5 trailer for Star Rail and there's just no way I can ignore it. I didn't get to see the special event because, you know, being sick and all, so I'll just be reacting to the trailer alone. So let's see what's in store for us in 1.5 and figure out if Panaconi is in the cards. So 1.5 trailer, the crappy skill zone, I have no idea what that's referring to, but let's see. Are they being attacked by something? Another anomaly Someone. in this shining universe. Since you do not understand the beauty, I will have to show you in a way. Okay, so this is Argenti, right? Who is one of the Knights of Beauty that follow the Eon Idrilla. I'm kind of curious about this guy because we've kind of seen him somewhat appear in some of the simulated universe occurrences and things like that. And I've tried to do a video on Idrilla before. Because a few people kind of talked about March possibly being related to the Path of Beauty. But I couldn't really understand what beauty really meant within the context of Star Rail. Because it seemed like the concept of beauty was this high level philosophical thinking of the underlying beauty of the universe or something like that. Instead of just superficial beauty, right? So if Argenti is now making an appearance, I wonder whether we're going to get story related to that. Than only a night cat. The beauty is eternal. Hey, look, we made it. Well, hold on. What in the world was that? What is this? Is it like a leviathan or something? Are we coming out of the mouth of a leviathan? Were we eaten? Like, what's going on? Does that mean that Argenti came to save us from this thing? Oh, wait, hold on. We, we saw him fighting some bugs, right? Yeah, he was fighting some of the swarms. So perhaps this is like just some giant bug or something like that. This is interesting. I'm kind of curious because we don't really know what happened to Idrilla. Or, or do we? I can't remember off the top of my head. But it seems like... If this is associated with the swarm, I'm wondering whether the disappearance of Idrila has something to do with the swarm. I'm kind of curious where this story will go and whether or not we will have anything related to, you know, the story of beauty. But let's see whether, like, where this goes. So, so it seems we're still in... Or we're still doing stuff in Xianzhou. So I guess that Argenti stuff might be just a short story, maybe? Just to introduce us to the character? I don't know. Yo, what's up? You're finally here. Captain Hohua, should we start the ghost talk now? Yeah, so this is probably something to do with Spooktober, even though we're in November, but yeah, it's probably Halloween themed or something. I don't know. Kind of looks like it. You can just call me or is this going to be one of those uh, bravery challenges things where you have to walk through a path and there's like scary things that happen and that's what this whole story is about? What the heck was that? Is this just some beholder thing? Isn't there a curio that looks like this? I'm pretty sure there is a curio that looks like this. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the person that Luocha kind of rescued. Or oh, we rescued her, but Luocha was the one that healed her. And she was one of the 10 courts judge, something like that. And if I'm not mistaken, that particular faction is... Um, sort of in charge of how people die in Xianzo. I'm 
pretty sure I'm kind of making mistakes there. But if I'm not mistaken, whenever a native Shanzo person gets inflicted with Mara Strak or has the symptoms of it, the 10 judge court circuit, I really don't remember what it's called, are the people who decide what happens to them, like whether they go into exile or something like that. We don't know the full story yet. But if I'm not mistaken, she's one of them. And if that's the case, this may have something to do with how death is managed in the Shanzu Alliance. I don't know. Or maybe it's just, you know, just something that is theme appropriate with all the ghosts and stuff. So it does seem like we are still in Xianzhou and we're kind of exploring some of the other parts of Xianzhou, especially with the judges and uh, stuff like that, which we really haven't had a chance to kind of talk about or it hasn't been explained to us. So yeah, more lore on Xianzhou is great. Is that it? Ooh. Oh, I'm guessing this is, this is going to be the four-star character. Oh yeah, it is the four-star character. I'm Yeah, but I think there's like two really interesting things that are happening um, right now. The first is all the ghost stuff that might just be like a theme thing. It might not be a specific to a law situation. But I am very curious about, about this, this giant thing. Because at the very beginning, we see the train sort of heading towards this red mist thing that just looks like the warp from Warhammer 40k. I don't know if they take inspiration from that, but it does look like we're entering the maw of something huge. And then after that, Argenti comes to our rescue and fights off some bugs on the train, and then we deal with this. So I'm I'm wondering whether they're gonna do a story like sort of like a bottle episode specifically on the train itself, but sort of expand on the world and tell us more about the swarm and maybe about the path of beauty, Idrilla, the Knights of Beauty, as well as what this giant turtle looking thing is i'm really hoping this will drop a lot of law on us so that i can do more speculation videos but it seems like the story for 1.5 is going to be split between this as well as the stuff that's happening on the xianzo which seems like jingyuan is jingyuan is involved as well so i'm kind of curious whether this is going to be just like a filler patch you know 1.5 before we go into panacony maybe in 1.6 or in 2.0 i don't know but I'm hoping it's not. I hope we learn a little bit more about the world itself, like outside of Shanzo. And, you know, I'm kind of curious why the Knights of Beauty are now being introduced into the story at this point. Because we know that the next stage is going to be related to Harmony. So why are the Knights of Beauty being introduced at this stage? That's the thing that I'm kind of curious about. But, you know, it's a two-minute video. I'm sure there's stuff that I'm missing out here that might have been mentioned in the uh, special event. So, yeah, I might have to go and watch that after this just to see whether there's anything I missed. In any case, let me know in the comments what you think of patch 1.5. Are you going to be summoning for Argenti or Boho, I think her name was? I don't know. Um, either of those characters. Do you think the story is going to be interesting? And I guess that does it for this trailer. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. And as usual, have a nice day.